With an average of 240,000 visitors per day, and 60,000 of them having a free meal, there are many opportunities to volunteer for cleaning at the Golden Temple. The Golden Temple Community Kitchen model is remarkably sustainable and eco-friendly. Everyone has served their meal on stainless steel plates. The bowls, cups, and spoons are also stainless steel. No bottles or styrofoam are recycled because they're not used. Even paper products napkins, tissues, are absent. How does it work feeding so many with so little waste? And how is the residue removed? Once you've eaten longer, you collect your plate, bowl, and spoon, follow the queue, and head to the Volunteers of the Barton Seva Society, an organized group whose mission is to clear the excess food from each plate and then send them to the washing stations. Dirty dishes do not sit unattended. Each plate is swiftly handed down a row where a bucket awaits. The contents disappear into a metal tub by deftly shaking or clapping the plates together. A pair of strong young men heft the tub full of plates, quickly carry them to the first washing station, where they're shaken loose into the water. A flurry of hands seek out one plate at a time, wiping each one with cleaning powder then stacking it on top of the first washing station. As a newcomer, you can wordlessly join in, observe, then pick up a plate and join your neighbor in meditation by motion. The plates are transferred to the second washing station where they are given the same treatment, scrubbing by hand and stacked up for transfer to the third washing station. Periodically, the water is drained and the rhythmic motion of sponges is paused until fresh water fills the tub again. Each plate and utensil is washed three times and rinsed two different times. The hand-washed dishes become sparkly and bright. After the fifth station, the bowls, plates, and spoons are separated and the dishes are stacked again for the next longer group. The bowls are also used for chai which is served almost any time. Some people come daily to serve, some come for a few hours. For others, it's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Almost universally, everyone says that they serve as long as the Guru allows them to. Human cooperation and effort, coupled with a spirit of Chardi Kala, unbounded optimism, make the work go smoothly. Above the din, the melodies of Kirtan resonate. The washing of a dish becomes a practice in humility. It helps shed the ego and open the heart. Oh,